П'ять причин, чому тобі потрібно в терапію. Всім привіт! Your English is pre intermediate and higher, and you want to practice your listening skills and your interest in psychology? Then this video is for you. Всім привіт! Мене звати Віра, і я вчитель англійської онлайн. І ми зі студентами часто на уроках говоримо на тему психології. Тому й виникла ідея цього відео. Або п'ять речей, яким я навчилася у психолога за два роки, заплативши за це більше, ніж 1500 євро. Відео буде англійською і з субтитрами та перекладом. Я буду розмовляти дуже повільно, для того, щоб було все чітко зрозуміло. Нові слова будуть виділені іншим кольором. Для того, щоб їх вивчити, після перегляду цього відео ти можеш зайти в опис і знайти там посилання на телеграм-канал, де будуть ці слова у квізлеті. Це такий додаток, де можна пограти в гру з цими новими словами. Отже, рекомендую подивитись відео, вивчити нові слова і знову подивитись відео, щоб ці слова точно залишилися в тебе в голові. А в кінці відео будуть завдання і відповіді, на які ти зможеш знайти так само в телеграм-каналі. Тож, поїхали! So here is a test for you. Five reasons you need to be in therapy. First of all, You think that when you're angry or sad that these are bad emotions and we need to get rid of them as soon as possible. In reality, there are no good or bad emotions. All emotions are okay. All emotions are important. Anger is an emotion that was designed to help you to protect yourself. Fear is great too. It was designed to help you to save your life. So all emotions have a purpose and we shouldn't hide them and let ourselves feel them fully because emotions help you feel alive and yes emotions are your responsibility and you mustn't hurt other people two you think you have a lot of bad traits and you always want to fix them stop hating your bad traits every trait has good sides and bad sides For example, I am very impatient. My parents told me that all the time. But because of that, I've achieved so much in such little time. Because I find the quickest way to get what I want. That's why I had four businesses. I finished two business courses. I visited 24 countries. I have a coaching certificate. I have five years experience of teaching English. Blah, blah, blah. Because I'm impatient and I want everything now. And I'm just 24. So my advice to you, write down a list of your bad traits and also say why they are good, how they help you in life. Three, you think you get close with your partner sexually and with your friends through sharing secrets. Where in reality, every person is seeking for proximity but not many people know what it is. The real proximity is not how much time you spend together and how many secrets you share. And it's definitely not sex. It's the fact that you can be anyone with this person and feel accepted. Like this person accepts you for who you are. When you're mad, when you're annoyed, when you're sad and this person still accepts you. So you can just be yourself around this person always and not pretend like you're always in a good mood. And it's so hard to find, but when you do, it's beautiful. Or you have changed many partners in a year and you have changed many places to live in a year. This one is honestly my big problem because I'm always seeking for perfection, which doesn't exist. So yeah, I know. But the reality is I'm not perfect and it's okay. People around me aren't perfect and it's okay. And hey, your apartment will never be perfect and it's okay. Your new apartment will also not be perfect and have disadvantages. And that's okay. And yes, I will do my best to find a great partner, a great apartment, to be a great friend and to be the greatest version of myself. But when I understand this simple thing that nothing will be perfect, I just don't get depressed so much. 
and you shouldn't get depressed too. Number five, when you try hard and you can't achieve something, so you try even harder or you think you're a loser. Honey, focus on enjoying the process, not only achieving the goal. You're amazing that you are trying and you're not giving up. And that's enough. Don't push yourself too much. In everything, in sports, for example, if you go to the gym and you hate it, but you go because you want to have a great body, try something new. Try to find a sport that you'll enjoy. So, for example, it can be tennis. You like tennis. So you go to tennis, you enjoy the process, and then a month later, boom, you have a great body and you didn't even notice it. It was just enjoying the process. So the time was flying by quickly because everything has to be in moderation. 80% healthy food, 20% anything you want. Because when it becomes a lifestyle, not a challenge, you will 100% get to your results. Because you don't need to push yourself. Now it's your hobby, it's your lifestyle, and that's great. Отже, зараз завдання до тексту. Ви бачите перед собою вісім питань, на які треба відповісти true or false. Всі відповіді на ці завдання ви зможете знайти так само в телеграм-каналі. І напишіть, будь ласка, в коментарях, чи сподобався вам такий формат відео, бо в мене є ще дуже багато інсайтів, за які я так само заплатила 1500 євро. Тому дайте знати. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile.